Oopsie. Looks like Therese is knocked off just a scotch. Oops. And my microphone's on. So you're going to hear an echo for just a minute. It's, there's three of them. Echo, echo, echo. That's funny. So I talk, then you heard it in here, and then that recorded on that, and then you heard it again, and then it happened again. So that was really funny. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Maybe I think random things are funny. Um, God bless you. A blessed feast to everyone. A solemnity. This is a great feast of St. Joseph. Right? And for that feast, we have a green out. Do you see the green flashing? There's nothing I can do about that. That's on Facebook's actual page, I've been told. Um, but once I download it and put it up on YouTube, it shouldn't be there. So um, I apologize to that. But St. Joseph is often dressed in green. So I see it as a sign of his presence with us. I love, love, love the feast of St. Joseph, spouse of Mary. And we are going to ask for huge graces today. And we're going to pray for the intentions of his heart. He, the spiritual father of the church, knows the needs of the church better than even we do. And he is so close to his son. So he can gain all the graces that are needed for the world. We pray in a special way for Russia. The diocese where I worked is actually called the Diocese of St. Joseph. We couldn't have the diocese named after a city because of conflicts with the Orthodox Church. So my diocese was the Diocese of St. Joseph in Irkutsk. So we remember them today. We remember, of course, husbands and fathers and those searching for their vocation, both physical husbands and fathers and spiritual husbands and fathers. I guess usually there aren't spiritual husbands, but there are spiritual fathers. Um, we pray for foster children. St. Joseph, as the spouse of Our Lady, was the foster father of Jesus. And so we pray for those in foster care, their caretakers, those longing to adopt and working in that direction. For God's will to be done, all of these children, we pray for the abused, the abandoned, the neglected, the trafficked. We pray for Levi and Liam, Jonathan, Colton, Calvin, Aubrey, Cecilia, Colette, Sophia, Michael, Landon, Lincoln, Nora, Matthew, Mateo, Andrew, Dean, Vianney, and Jaden, and all children who need prayers. We pray for marriages that are struggling, for infidelity, for abuse, and for the children that are wounded so deeply by their parents at times. We pray for total healing and for a conversion, for God to save marriages, especially those we know that are struggling. We pray for those who've made great mistakes in life, that their families are forgiving and loving and that they can help them make amends for whatever they've done. We pray for a greater selflessness of mothers and fathers and siblings towards each other, towards their parents and grandparents. We pray for the wealthy to be generous with what the Lord has given them. We pray for those in financial duress and the financial needs of the Fiat Foundation. We need thousands and thousands of dollars. If you're interested, I just did my new annual, annual report with the needs for this year, and I already have a new need for the Middle East that's not even in the report. But you can look on the top of my two pages. 
Um, on the top of my personal page, I was able to pin it. They wouldn't let me on my public page. I'm not sure why. But you can look through that at the different needs and consider some last minute almsgiving during Lent that will save the souls of many who otherwise would not receive the gospel. We pray for the financial and the physical, spiritual needs of the Fiat Foundation, the children of the cross all over the world, and this Bethany House of Crucified Love and Prayer for our personal needs in that regard, for families and heads of households and ministries, orphanages that are struggling to provide for the people entrusted to them. We ask the Lord in his providence and good Saint Joseph, who never fails us, to provide what we need to do the will of God. We pray for those with addictions to be healed, those who've left the church, those who are lukewarm. We pray for those with Alzheimer's and dementia for healing, for peace for their caregivers, those with life-threatening diseases or sicknesses. We pray for the conversion of Russia and the triumph of the Immaculate Heart throughout the whole world. We pray for all of the needs of the pages here, for an end to abortion, for the preservation of marriage between one man and one woman, for those with gender identity illness. We pray for our government, for the leaders of our governments, for peace in the world, for our church leaders to be converted and holy and to be just like Jesus Christ. We pray for our priests and for more vocations to the priesthood, especially from our own families and the children that we take care of. We pray for all the most poor and abandoned and forgotten and persecuted in the world, those unjustly imprisoned, those calumniated to be defended. We pray for those struggling without hope to be given hope, those whose crosses seem too heavy to be given help, to have Simon of Cyrene sent to help them. And we just pray for our ministry here, for the books, the art, the music, the podcasts, and all that takes place in this home. We pray for all of your intentions, very important. We pray that um, the Lord hears the cries of your hearts, and I ask you in your mercy to please pray for my intentions as well. And I think that's it. If I forget something important and it comes to me, I will mention it. For my dissertation, I ask for continued prayers in that regard. For all those who will help me to have the time and the strength, the vision, the wisdom, the kindness, the generosity to do that. that all goes for the glory of God, right? We want everything that we do for the glory of God. So we'll pray the joyful mysteries today because those are the mysteries where St. Joseph is most present. Um, and this is just like our little island in the midst of the ocean, right, of Lent. We are traversing this um, incredible sea of the passion of Christ, right, washing ourselves in his blood. And we take a pause today to celebrate his foster father, he who cared for the first wounds of Christ and his circumcision as he learned to walk and he fell where he'd you know, get his finger, have a sliver. Imagine that, St. Joseph pulled the wood out and, and saved Christ. And if Joseph had been alive when Jesus died, he wouldn't have died or Joseph would have been crucified with him. Joseph gave his life to protect the life of Christ. He was the savior of the savior, the provider for the bread of life, right? The protector of the Holy Eucharist, Jesus, his little heart. And so we ask him to intercede for us and to take us as the body of Christ into his home, into his heart. And we meditate on the sufferings he endured to help Christ in his mission as a savior of the world. We ask for the gift of silence and 
generosity of heart, of purity, of humility that Joseph had, of trust, of obedience. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. O oh, Jesus, in union with your most precious blood, poured out on the cross and offered in every mass, I offer you today my prayers, works, joys, sorrows, and sufferings for the praise of your holy name, for all the desires of your sacred heart in reparation for sin, the conversion of sinners, the union of all Christians, for all of the intentions of our hearts, and for our final union with you in heaven. Amen. My queen and my mother, I give myself entirely to you. In order to show my devotion to you, I consecrate to you this day my eyes, my ears, my mouth, my heart, my entire self without reserve. Wherefore, good mother, as I am thy own, keep me and guard me as thy property and possession. Amen. Oh, that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me and you would keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father, the Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We pray for Pope Francis, the cardinals, the archbishops, bishops, and the priests who work for him. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a stay, our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase of faith, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase of hope, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase of love, charity, and conversion. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And like I said, we're going to pray the joyful mysteries, and the first joyful mystery is the Annunciation. We remember the Annunciation of the angel to Our Lady, and she surrendered and said, I am the handmaiden of the Lord. Let it be done unto me according to thy word. St. Joseph also had an Annunciation. He didn't know what to do about Our Lady. He didn't know the place he had in the role of salvation. And he was a just man. He was good. He was honest. That virtue of justice, of honesty, is missing in the world. It seems like a simple compliment, and yet um, it's an important aspect of the human heart to be just, to be honest. In this mystery, we remember how Joseph heard the angel announce to him that he was not to divorce our lady. He was to take her as his wife. Mary and Joseph were virgins all of their life. Even in their marriage, they didn't consummate it. 
And that took heroic purity on the heart of Joseph to love as passionately as God created man to love his wife and to lay that down through the gift of humble, pure service. To have prayer be the fire of love that united them. And Joseph, as soon as the angel explained this to him, obeyed, got up, and he went and did what the angel told him. Later on, the angel would appear again and tell him to flee into Egypt. Joseph gave up his work, his trade, the security of the home that he had prepared for them. He was faithful, he believed, and he escaped. And then when the angel told them to go back, he listened. Joseph's heart always had to be in the stance of listening obedience in order for God to know that he could just send a messenger to him and he would obey. In this mystery, we pray that in the annunciations in our life, every time God reveals something to us, whether it be a big decision of his will or a small little inspiration, we pray that we may always be attentive to his voice and obedient to what he wants. We pray that St. Joseph may take us under his cloak here, right? That he hides us under his mantle. Here you see how he cradles our lady and baby Jesus. We place ourselves there in his protection. We ask for him to make our homes places of peace, of joy, of rest, of hope, of friendship. We pray that the Lord sends spiritual fathers and brothers to encourage us on the way, right? We pray for our priests. And we pray, St. Joseph, noble offspring of David, pray for us. Light of the patriarchs, pray for us. Spouse of the mother of God, pray for us. Guardian of the Redeemer, pray for us. Chaste guardian of the Virgin, pray for us. Foster father of the Son of God, pray for us. Zealous defender of Christ, pray for us. Servant of Christ, pray for us. Minister of salvation, pray for us. Head of the Holy Family, pray for us. The Annunciation. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a stay, our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The second joyful mystery is the visitation, and in this mystery, Our Lady carries Jesus like a tabernacle, like a monstrance to her cousin. And Joseph, he would have accompanied her to protect her, to deliver her to her cousin, right? That was no small feat to take time off work and to travel for weeks on foot to uncotton. One of my most favorite places in the Holy Land, maybe my favorite, is the place of the visitation. It's a little village called An Karam, outside of Jerusalem. And it's a place of perpetual spring, right? Um, and it's where Our Lady greeted Elizabeth, and, and the Holy Spirit revealed to Elizabeth the mysteries taking place in Our Lady, and she praised Our Lady, especially for, what did she say, blessed are you who believe what the Lord had said would be fulfilled. The same thing could have been said of Joseph. When Joseph was told by the Lord his plans, he believed, he obeyed, right? He rose from his sleep and he did what the Lord commanded him. Blessed is he who believed, right? And then the Holy Spirit revealed to Joseph, just like to Elizabeth, what his plans were. God worked in the early church with Our Lady, with Elizabeth, with Joseph, with Zechariah, through silence. In fact, when Zechariah doubted, he was made mute. That wasn't really a punishment. The Lord silenced his words that were full of doubt so that in silence he could perceive the reality and the presence of God and his will and the mysteries he was doing. It says in scripture how Our Lady pondered in her heart what the Lord was doing in the life of Jesus. Joseph pondered it with her. And the few words that were spoken by Joseph were spoken at the dinner table to his mother, I mean to his wife, to his son. Think of the holy conversations that took place in the Holy Family. Conversations that were in the atmosphere of prayerful silence, where words were only spoken to give life and to glorify the Father. Just like Our Lady prayed that Magnificat, Joseph would have prayed it with her. Joseph's heart prayed that same prayer daily. My soul magnifies the Lord. The moment that God told Joseph his will, he died. He died to himself, to his own life, to his own desires. 
He lived to magnify the Lord. His spirit rejoiced in God as Savior. He looked on him in his lowliness, and henceforth for all generations call him blessed. The Almighty did wonderful things for him, and holy is his name. Joseph was one of those lowly ones lifted up by the Lord. In this mystery, we pray, entrusting to Joseph our conversations, that they may be full of prayerful silence and words that glorify God, that give life. And we pray not only for ourselves, but our families and all of those who are on your heart that you present here, that we may hear the will of God and obey it that we may die to ourselves and our own desires to do his will, to bring souls to him, to help people get saved, to go to heaven. We ask St. Joseph to pray for us and all of our needs. We pray, St. Joseph, most just, pray for us. St. Joseph, most merciful, pray for us. St. Joseph, most chaste and pure, innocent, modest, holy, pray for us. St. Joseph, most prudent and wise and discerning, surrendered, docile, pray for us. St. Joseph, most generous and self-sacrificing, pray for us. The visitation our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us a stay our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary oops russian Radusia Maria, Blagera Tipolnaya Gaspod Staboy, Blagoslavia Natin Yeshtu Jonami, I Blagoslavia Plodjereva Tvayevo Isus, Svetaya Maria, Mater Boja Malisa Nas Krishn, Nini Vchas Mirti Nashiamen Polish, Strovash Maria Waski Pauna Pan Stabo, Bogoslavia Nashtin Yenza I Bogoswavioni ovo chivota tvaego Jesus. Shventa Maria matka boja mudalshes an amikshes nimi. Terasiv gojina i shmerchina shi anan svenesh. Dios te salve Maria yenare ste gratia el senores contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesus. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros, pecadores, ahora y a la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén, Italian. Ave Maria, piena de gracia, el Señor es con te. Tu se benedetta fra la donne, y benedetto el fruto del tuo seno, Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, Prega per noi pecadori, adesso, nell'ora della nostra muerte. Amen. Latin. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedicta, fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis pecatoribus. Nunca de nora mortis nostri, amen. Russian. Radusia Maria, blagera tipolna ya gaspot staboyu. Blagoslavien natin yez de jonami. I blagoslavien plodjereva tvayevo isus. Svetaya Maria, mater boja, malisa nas grishni. Nini ifchas mirti nashi amen polish. Strovash Maria Waski Pauna, Pan Stabon, Bogoswaviona Stinienza Nevestami, I Bogoswavioni Ovo Chivota Tvayego Jesus, Shvinta Maria, Matka Boja Mudalshes, Anamik Shishnimi, Terra Sivgojina, I Shmirchina Shi Amen, Spanish. 
Dios te salve, María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros, pecadores, ahora y a la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén, Italia. Ave María, piena de gracia, el Señor es conté. Tu se benedetta fra la donne, y benedetto el fruto del tuo seno, Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, adesso e nell'ora della nostra morte. Amen. Latin. Ave Maria, grazia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus, fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. Sicud erat in principio et nunc et semper. Er in secula seculorum. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Third joyful mystery is the birth of baby Jesus in Bethlehem. We see the deep friendship in Mary and Joseph and Jesus. The brotherly love that Joseph showed to Our Lady. The respect. The humble purity. The meekness. The courage and the strength that he surrounded her with. We gaze on him in Bethlehem, holding her and the newborn Christ child, right? Treasuring them in his arms, in his heart, in his mind, in his emotions. When God calls somebody to a work, he gives them the gifts for that work. And Joseph was called to be the husband of Mary. So he had marital love for her, but it was not expressed sexually. That does not mean that it wasn't expressed passionately. And he had fatherly love for Christ. God the Father shared his own heart with Joseph. We can gaze at that mystery with wonder and awe and kneel down there in Bethlehem on that dirt floor. I bet it smelled like animals, right? There's straw everywhere. You could only see the Christ child by that lantern that Joseph had. If we're cold, he would take his mantle and wrap it around us. And by watching him, we learn to pray. We learn to adore. We learn silent contemplation. We learn the beauty of poverty, of simplicity, of trust. We pray for all of these virtues. And we know that he who cradled the Son of God in his arms is near him in heaven eternally by the throne of God the Father. The Holy Spirit that had taken the heart of the Father
placed in Joseph to love Christ unites him very closely to the Father in heaven and to his son, right, his little one. And that is why his prayer is so efficacious. Nothing we ask of Joseph will not be answered. In this mystery, I want you to place there in the manger at the feet of the Christ child with Joseph all of your intentions. Unburden your heart. What is bothering you? What are you worried about? What do you need? What are you asking for? We ask Joseph to look around our lives and to pray not only for what we ask, but for what we've forgotten maybe what we're afraid to ask for. He loves when we're audacious in what we ask for. He wants us to be bold with our requests of the Father, especially when what we ask for fulfills his perfect holy will. We remember as well the needs of all those on these pages who might not feel inspired to pray. We ask the Lord to look at their lives and to grant them not only the gift of faith, but to provide for their needs. St. Joseph, most strong, pray for us. St. Joseph, most patient and meek and gentle, pray for us. St. Joseph, most humble, pray for us. St. Joseph, most obedient, pray for us. St. Joseph, most constant and persevering, pray for us. St. Joseph, most faithful, pray for us. St. Joseph, most courageous and brave, pray for us. The birth of baby Jesus in Bethlehem. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a stay, our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The fourth joyful mystery, the presentation in the temple. In this mystery, Jesus is presented to his father in the temple by Mary and Joseph. Joseph had to witness the suffering of Christ when he was little. I think all parents know, or at least adults who have parental hearts, that it's much harder to watch a child who you love suffering than to suffer yourself. And then he heard that horrible prophecy about how Christ would be assigned to be contradicted. He had to have wondered not only how the passion would take place, he, I'm sure he knew the passage of the suffering servant, but he wondered if he would be there, he wondered at what he would do, I'm sure. The death of St. Joseph before Christ was called to his public ministry was a way of the Father restraining that passionate love in Joseph that would have died for his son. And he heard how his wife, Mary's heart, that gentle dove, who he loved so much, would be pierced with swords. What anguish he had to have felt in that presentation. And yet, these words were spoken to him when he was presenting Christ to the Father in a way he had to offer his beloved Mary with his son. He had to trust in that love of the Father that had called him to such a noble vocation would provide not only for himself, but for those who he loved more dearly than his own life. In this mystery, we present to Christ all of our sufferings through the heart of his father, Joseph. We ask Joseph to pray for us, especially for the things that cause us pain. Maybe areas you need healing or protection or provision, but more for the different ways that carrying the cross of Christ um, is difficult for you. We pray that Joseph teaches you how to do that with dignity and courage and surrender. Joseph was way more than Simon of Cyrene. He wouldn't have just been forced into carrying the cross for a few feet. He would have carried that whole burden unto death. In Gethsemane, the apostles abandoned Jesus. They fell asleep while he suffered anguish. Joseph never would have. Joseph spent countless nights with his son when he was little, praying over his bed, watching over him. 
that thought of Joseph had to be a huge consolation to Jesus and his passion. We ask Joseph to be with us and to pray for us, especially for the things that he knows that we need the most in order to fulfill the will of God. We pray St. Joseph, mirror of patience, pray for us, lover of poverty, pray for us, model of workmen, pray for us, glory of the domestic life, pray for us, guardian of virgins, pray for us, pillar of families, pray for us. The presentation, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Russian, Radu Sia Maria, Blagadati Polnaya Gaspod Staboyo, Blagoslavia Nati Mieszta Zonami, I blagoslaviam plucereva tvajevo Isus. Svetaya Maria, Mater Bosha, Malisa nas grešni. Nimi v čas smirti naši, amen, Polish. Strovaš Maria, vaski pauna, pan s tabo. Bogoslavionaš timjen za nevestami. I bogoslaviani ova čevota tvajego Jezu. Shventa Maria Matika Boja, Moodle Shizan Amik Shishnimi, Tira Sif Gojina Ish Merchina Shi Amen, Svenish. Dios te salve Maria, Yeneves de Grazia, El Senores Contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, Rega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y a la hora de nuestra muerte. Amen. Italian. Ave Maria, piena de gracia, el Señor y con te. Tu se benedetta fra la donne y benedetto el fruto del tuo Señor Jesu. Santa Maria, Madre de Dio, prega per noi pecadori, adesso en la hora de la nuestra muerte. Amen. Latin, Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in hora mortis nostri, Amen. Russian, Radusia Maria, Blagana Tipolnaya, Gaspod Staboya, Blagoslavian Timiesh de Jonami, I Blagoslavian Plucereva Tvayevo Isus, Svetaya Maria, Matir Boja, Malisanas Greshni, Niniv Chasvirti Nashi Amen, Polish, Strovash Maria Waski Pauna Pan Stubbo, Bogoslavia Timienzanevastami, I bogoslavioni ova tshavota tvaego Jesus, shvinta Maria matka boja, mudal shazan amik shashnimi, tera siv gojina, ishmir chinashi amen, spinish. Dios te salve Maria, generis de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesus. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y a la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italian. Ave Maria, piena de gracia, el Señor y con te. Tu se benedetta fra la donna, y benedetto el fruto del tuo Señor Jesu. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, prega per noi pecadores, Adesso nell'ora della nostra muerte. Amen. Latin. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus. Fructus ventris tui, Jesus. 
Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filia et Spiritui Sancta. Sicure ad in principio et nunc et semper et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave. fourth joyful mystery the finding in the temple in this mystery Mary and Joseph lost Jesus and the biggest part of that burden fell on Joseph he was the protector the leader the guide of the family those three days they searched for Christ lost were the three days of the passion of Joseph how he must have questioned himself. It's one thing to lose a person who you love, but when the person is God, it's hell. In this mystery, we'd like to pray for those who've lost God, who've left the church, who've separated themselves from him in mortal sin, who are consumed by the darkness of dep de depression or discouragement, oppression of any way, of hopelessness, right? We pray for those in the darkness of war and abuse, those who are trafficked, children being aborted, just all of those horrific situations of darkness. We ask the Lord to send his light to the suffering souls even all the way into purgatory. We offer this for particular souls in purgatory who need it the most, and we ask them to pray for us. And we pray, St. Joseph, support in difficulties, pray for us. Comfort of the afflicted, pray for us. Hope of the sick, pray for us. Patron of exiles and refugees, pray for us. Patron of the falsely accused and imprisoned, pray for us. Patron of the afflicted, pray for us. Patron of the poor, pray for us. Patron of the dying and the souls in purgatory, pray for us. Terror of demons, pray for us. And protector of the Holy Church, pray for us. We also pray for those in the world who have the greatest devotion and love for St. Joseph. We pray for their intentions today. We pray for those who have been given the name of Joseph, that they live according to that, that spirit. We pray for those who the Lord calls to be a Joseph to us, right? To be that manly presence of protection and provision and guidance and support. We pray for our priests the Lord may raise up new and holy priests with the heart of Joseph, that kind of passionate love for the Eucharist and for the spiritual children entrusted to them. The finding in the temple, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Excuse me. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. I'm so sorry. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn, then, O most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exiles, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God that we be made worthy of the promises of Christ, let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation, grant we beseech thee that by meditating on the mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known, that any one who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. 
Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To thee do we come, before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer us. Amen. O Saint Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so prompt before the throne of God, I place in you all of my interests and desires. O Saint Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession. Obtain for me from your divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, I never weary contemplating you, and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press, his, press him in my name. Kiss his fine head for me. Ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. O Saint Joseph, terror of demons, cast a solemn gaze upon the devil and his minions. Protect us with thy mighty staff. You fled through the night to avoid the devil's wicked designs. Now, with the power of God, smite the demons as they flee from thee. Grant special protection, we pray, for children and the unborn, families and relationships, work and ministries, homes and possessions, persecuted Christians, priests and the dying. By God's grace, no demon dares approach while you are near. So we beg of thee, St. Joseph, always be near to us. Amen. St. Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Seraphim and Cherubim, Thrones and Dominions, Virtues, Powers, Principalities, Archangels and Guardian Angels, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Princess of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Angels of God, our guardians dear, to whom God's love commits us here, ever this night be at our side, to light and guard, to rule, to protect, to defend, to enlighten, and to guide. Amen. And before we go on, I'd like to do our consecration prayer to St. Michael. It's Tuesday, and we do that on Tuesdays. And although St. Joseph kind of usurped St. Michael today, because it's his feast day, I'd still like to pray that consecration prayer. O most noble prince of the angelic hierarchies, valorous warrior of almighty God and zealous lover of his glory, terror of the rebellious angels, love and delight of all the just angels, my beloved archangel, St. Michael, desiring to be numbered among your devoted servants, I today offer and consecrate myself to you and place myself, my family, and all that I possess under your most powerful protection. I entreat you not to look at how little I as your servant have to offer, being only a wretched sinner, but to gaze rather with favorable eye at the heartfelt affection with which this offering is made. And remember that if from this day onward I'm under your patronage, you must during all my life assist me and procure for me the pardon of my many grievous offenses and sins, the grace to love with all my heart, my God and Savior Jesus, and my sweet mother Mary, to obtain for me all the help necessary to arrive at my crown of glory. Defend me always from my temporal and spiritual enemies, particularly in the last moments of my life. Come then, O glorious Prince, and succor me in my last struggle. With your powerful weapon, cast far from me into the infernal abysses, that provocator and proud angel that one day you prostrated in the celestial battle. Amen. And we pray for the souls that have died. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. May your perpetual light shine upon them. May their souls and all the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Eternal God, we offer to you the most precious blood of thy divine son, Jesus. In union with the masses said throughout the world for all the holy souls in purgatory. 
for sinners everywhere, those in the universal church, within our own home and within our own family. Amen. We pray St. Patrick's Prayer. I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation. I arise today through the strength of Christ's birth with his baptism, through the strength of his crucifixion with his burial, through the strength of his resurrection with his ascension, through the strength of his descent for the judgment of doom. I arise today through the strength of the love of the cherubim, in the obedience of the angels, the service of the archangels, in the hope of resurrection to meet with reward, in the prayers of patriarchs, predictions of prophets, in the preaching of apostles, in the faith of confessors, in the innocence of holy virgins and the deeds of righteous men. I arise today through the strength of heaven, the light of the sun, the radiance of the moon, the splendor of fire, the speed of lightning, the swiftness of wind, the depth of the sea, the stability of the earth, and the firmness of rock. I arise today through God's strength to pilot me, God's might to uphold me, God's wisdom to guide me, God's eye to look before me, God's ear to hear me, God's word to speak for me, God's hand to guard me. God's shield to protect me, God's host to save me. From the snares of the devil, from temptations of vices, from everyone who wishes me ill, afar and near. I summon today all these powers between me and those evils, against every cruel and merciless power that may oppose my body and soul, against incantations of false prophets, black laws of pagandom, false laws of heretics and the craft of idolatry, against spells of witches and smiths, wizards, saintness, and warlords, and against every knowledge that corrupts man's body and soul. Jesus Christ, to shield me today against poison and burning, choking and suffocating, debt and destruction, accidents and pestilence, infestation and plague, drowning and wounding, sickness and calumny, against disobedience, disrespect, profanity, and modesty, unchastity, and purity, fear and worry, manipulation and retaliation, discouragement and despair, misunderstanding and confusion, self-absorption, self-pity, greed, laziness, addictions, unrepentance, unforgiveness, jealousy, competition, hard-heartedness, blocking, division, rash or false judgment, vanity, selfishness, pride, anger and lust, dishonesty and betrayal, denial, abandonment, rejection, indifference, and unfaithfulness, and against every other evil that could come against me, so that there may come to me instead an abundance of reward. Jesus Christ be with me, Jesus Christ before me, Jesus Christ behind me, Jesus Christ in me. Jesus Christ beneath me, Jesus Christ above me. Jesus Christ on my right, Jesus Christ on my left. Jesus Christ when I lie down, Jesus Christ when I sit down. Jesus Christ when I arise. Jesus Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me. Jesus Christ in every mouth that speak of everyone who speaks of me. Jesus Christ in every eye that sees me and Jesus Christ in every ear that hears me. I arise today through mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation, amen. And on this special holy feast day of St. Joseph, we renew our consecration to him. We place ourselves under the mantle of his holy cloak. And we pray, O glorious patriarch St. Joseph, you who are chosen by God above all men to be the earthly head of the most holy of families. I beseech you to accept me within the folds of your holy cloak that you may become the guardian and custodian of my body and soul. From this moment on, I choose you as my father and brother, protector and defender, counselor and guide, patron and provider. And I beseech you to place in your custody my body, mind, heart, soul, emotions and memory past, present, and future, family, and relationships, 
home, property, possessions, and finances, my education, my work and ministry, the Fiat Foundation, the Children of the Cross, the Bethany House of Crucified Love and Prayer, my vocation, all that I am, all that I possess, my life and my death. Look upon me as one of your children and defend me from the treachery of my enemies, both visible and invisible. Assist me at all times and all my necessities. Console me in the bitterness of life, especially at the hour of death. Say but one word for me to the divine Redeemer, whom you were worm deemed worthy to hold in your arms, and to the Blessed Virgin Mary, your most chaste spouse. Request for me those blessings which will lead me to salvation. Include me among those who are most dear to you, and I shall set forth to prove myself worthy of your special patronage. Amen. O glorious patriarch and patron of the church, virgin spouse of the virgin mother of God, guardian and virginal father of the word incarnate, in the presence of Jesus and Mary, I choose you this day to be my father and guardian, protector and defender, provider and guide. O great Saint Joseph, whom God has made the head of the Holy Family, accept me, I beseech you, though utterly unworthy, to be a member of your holy house. Present me to your immaculate spouse, ask her also to adopt me as her child. With her pray that I may constantly think of Jesus and serve him faithfully until the end of my life. O terror of demons, increase in me virtue, protect me from the evil one, and help me not to offend God in any way. O my spiritual father, I hereby consecrate myself to you. In faithful imitation of Jesus and Mary, I place myself and all my concerns under your care and protection. To you, after Jesus and Mary, I consecrate my body and soul with all their faculties, my spiritual growth, my family and relationships, home, property, possessions, and finances, my education, work, and ministry, the Fiat Foundation, the Children of the Cross, the Bethany House of Crucified Love and Prayer and my vocation and all of my affairs and undertakings. Forsake me not, but adopt me as a servant and child of the Holy Family. Watch over me at all times, especially at the hour of my death. Console and strengthen me with the presence of Jesus and Mary, so that with you I may praise and adore the Holy Trinity for all eternity. Amen and a consecration to St. Joseph by St. Peter Julian Emiard. I consecrate myself to you, good St. Joseph, as my spiritual father. I choose you to rule my soul and to teach me the interior life, the life hidden away with Jesus, Mary, and yourself. Above all, I want to imitate the holy, si humble silence with which you were shrouded and which you shrouded Jesus and Mary. For me, everything lies in that self-abnegation, like our Lord in the hidden life, making the world forget me by my silence and practice of virtue. I consecrate myself to you as my guide and model in all my duties, so that I may learn to fulfill them with meekness and humility, with meekness towards my brothers and sisters and neighbor and all with whom I come in contact with, and with humility toward myself and simplicity before God. I choose you, good Saint Joseph, as my counselor, confident, and protector in all of my difficulties and trials. I do not ask to be spared crosses and sufferings, but only from self-love that might take away their value by making me vain about them. I choose you as my protector and provider, be my father as you are the father of the Holy Family at Nazareth. Be my protector, my guide, and my provider. I do not ask you for only temporal goods, greatness, or power. Instead, I ask that I serve with fidelity and devotedness my divine king. I shall honor, love, and serve you with Mary, my mother, and never shall I separate her name from yours. O oh, Jesus, give me Joseph as a father as you have given me Mary as a mother. Fill me with devotion, confidence, and filial love. Listen to my prayer. I know that you will. Already I feel more devout, more full of hope and confidence in good Saint Joseph, your foster father and my spiritual father. Amen. 
in an act of consecration by St. Alphonsus Liguori. O holy patriarch St. Joseph, I rejoice with you at the exalted dignity by which you were deemed worthy to act as a father to Jesus, to give him orders and to be obeyed by him whom heaven and earth obey. O great saint, as you were served by God, I too wish to be taken into your service. I choose you, after Mary, to be my chief advocate and protector. I promise to honor you every day by some special act of devotion and by placing myself under your daily protection. By that sweet company which Jesus and Mary gave you in your lifetime, protect me all through life so I may never separate myself from God by losing his grace. My dear St. Joseph, pray to Jesus for me. Certainly he can never refuse you anything as he obeyed all your orders while on earth. Tell him to detach me from all creatures and from myself and to inflame me with his holy love and then to do with me what he pleases. By that assistance which Jesus and Mary gave you at death, I beg you to protect me in a special way at the hour of my death, so that dying assisted by you in the company of Jesus and Mary, I may go to thank you in paradise and in your company to praise my God for all eternity. Amen. And an act of consecration by St. Bernadine of Siena. O oh, my beloved St. Joseph, adopt me as your child. Take charge of my salvation and life. Watch over me day and night. Preserve me from the occasion of sin and from all danger. Obtain for me purity of body, mind, intention, heart, soul, and spirit. Through thy intercession with Jesus, grant me a spirit of sacrifice, humility, self-denial, burning love for Jesus, in the blessed sacrament and the sweet and tender love for Mary, my mother. St. Joseph, be with me living, be with me dying, and obtain for me a favorable judgment from Jesus, my merciful Savior. Amen. And I'd also like to pray that beautiful consecration prayer here by um, St. Enrique de Oso. Most powerful protector and loving Father St. Joseph, husband of Mary, most holy, mother of God and Our Lady, custodian and adoptive father of Jesus, special patron and advocate of sinners and the dying, I, and then say your name, Mary Elizabeth Ann Klaska, a miserable sinner, unworthy of your presence, yet confident in your loving piety, with the desire to serve you and praise you before Jesus, my sweet Redeemer and Mary most holy, your immaculate bride, in the presence of all the heavenly court, I choose you this day as my special protector, advocate, and defender for all the actions of my life and at the hour of my death. From this day forward, I consecrate myself to you as your servant, your child, and your devotee, and I give myself to you in every possible way. Receive me, most sweet protector St. Joseph, as a perpetual recipient and child of your love, affection, and provision. Entrust me to the continuous protection of Mary, most holy, your chaste spouse, and to the eternal mercies of Jesus, my Savior. And to you, my most loving God, I thank you. I thank you, most sweet Jesus, and you, blessed Virgin Mary, for all the honor, love, and tenderness that you gave to my venerable father, St. Joseph. I thank you, most holy Joseph, for all the services, hardships, and work that you suffered for Jesus and Mary. I thank all of you, holy men and women of God, who are given to Jesus, Mary, and Joseph your reverential love. Be my defender in life and my protector in death. And you, sovereign patriarch, my sweet father and my most powerful advocate, be with me and show me mercy in the hour of my death. When I lack breath and my tongue cannot invoke you, when the light of my eyes is lacking and I lose my sense of hearing, remember me, Father, in the pleas that I now present to your most compassionate heart and the pleas I now present, I'm sorry, compassionate heart and tender mercy. Under the influence of your patronage, may I die with the kiss of our Lord and free from my enemies be placed among the friends of God 
whom in your company I hope to praise for eternity in heaven. Amen. And last but not least, I want to do this 33-day prayer to St. Joseph for all of our most dire intentions. Ever blessed and glorious Joseph, kind and loving Father, helpful friend of all in sorrow, you are the good Father and protector of orphans, the defender of the defenseless, the patron of those in need and sorrow. Look kindly on my request. My sins have drawn down on me the justice pleasure of my God, and so I'm surrounded with unhappiness. To you, loving guardian of the family of Nazareth, do I go for help and protection. Listen then, I beg you with fatherly concern to my earnest prayers, and obtain for me the favors that I ask. I ask them by the infinite mercy of the eternal Son of God, which moved him to take our nature and to be born into the world of sorrow. I ask it by the weariness and suffering you endured when you found no shelter at the inn of Bethlehem for the Holy Virgin, nor a house where the Son of God could be born. Then, being everywhere refused, you had to allow the Queen of Heaven to give birth to the world's Redeemer in a cave. I ask it by the loveliness and power of that sacred name, Jesus, which you have conferred on the adorable infant. I ask it by that painful torture you felt at the prophecy of Holy Simeon, which declared that G the child Jesus and his Holy Mother would be future victims of our sins and of their great love for us. I ask it through your sorrow and pain of soul when the angel declared to you that the life of the Christ Jesus was sought by his enemies. From their evil plan, you had to flee with him and his blessed mother to Egypt. I ask it by the suffering, weariness, and labors of that long and dangerous journey. I ask it by all your care to protect the sacred child and his immaculate mother during your second journey when you were ordered to return to your own country. I ask it by your peaceful life in Nazareth where you met with so many joys and sorrows. I ask it by your great distress when the adorable child was lost to you and his mother for three days. I ask it by your joy at finding him in the temple and by the comfort you found in Nazareth while living in the company of the child Jesus. I ask it by the wonderful submission he showed in his obedience to you. I ask it by the perfect love and conformity you showed in accepting the divine order to depart from this life and from the company of Jesus and Mary. I ask it by the joy that filled your soul when the Redeemer of the world, triumphant over death and hell, entered into the possession of his kingdom and led you into it with special honors. I ask it through Mary's glorious assumption, through that endless happiness that you have with her in the presence of God. O oh, good Father, I beg you by all your suffering, sorrows, and joys, hear me and obtain for me what I ask. Obtain for all those who have asked my prayers everything that is useful to them in the plan of God. Finally, my dear patron and father, be with me and all who are dear to me in our last moments, that we may eternally sing the praises of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Amen. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make our hearts like unto thine. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us, immaculate and sorrowful heart of Our Lady, pray for us. Good and holy Saint Joseph, pray for us. All of you holy angels, martyrs, and confessors, pray for us. All you holy virgins, men and women and children of God, pray for us. All you holy saints and souls in purgatory, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. I ask in honor of St. Joseph, who's the patron of the poor, 
that if at all possible that today in honor of his feast day that you consider making a donation to the Fiat Foundation to provide the spiritual materials requested by persecuted Christians, the poor, the orphans, the imprisoned, those who have no access to the gospel. Sometimes when you pray, you need to fast in order for that prayer to be efficacious. But to have a perfect prayer, you need to pray, fast, and give alms. Is there an intention heavy on your heart? Is there someone who needs a conversion or healing? Or do you need provision yourself? I encourage you today to make a donation to the Fiat Foundation. You can find a donate button on my website that I've listed here with spaces, because Facebook, but it's maryklaskafiat.com or to go to my, my personal page and to contact me um, and make a donation in honor of the soul that needs conversion or healing or provision or grace. And I promise you that God will repay you a hundredfold. Um, some of you were wondering about the quality of the video, and it is flashing green. It does that. It's just a Facebook thing. I don't know why. Um, my computer people I talked to said that once we upload it and put it on YouTube, it'll be fine. Um, but since St. Joseph is green, I take it as a pre his presence with us, right? Every time you see that green light, you know that it's his presence flashing with us. So have a blessed day. Um, God bless you. And um, I shall, I'm not sure if I'll be back tomorrow since we did Joseph today, right? We'll see how my schedule unfolds. But um, surely on Thursday. God bless you.